<laughs> you are in a dinosaur egg. Is that cool? Slide down, Bubba. <laughs> you got it. Now we have to go and take picture. Cheese. Uh, we can't see your face. Cheese. I can't see your face. Come up here. The best mommy. Alrighty, guys. So today I am taking you on the very strange adventure we had of trying to find the perfect campsite. We eventually got to two, and also this is clips of us driving to where we were going and the beautiful weather we were experiencing on the way up. Hail is very comforting, but we ended up finding two campsites. And this first campsite, I tried to record a very good video of um, us setting it up and everything. Levi found my phone and ended up bringing it to me, so the time lapse ended very quickly. But... It was $31 a night, so we did not stay very long. We are officially camping! Ah. Okay, we left the house at 9 in the morning. We got here and finished setting up. It is now 4 o'clock. <sighs> but I want to take you guys around the campsite, show you how we did everything, set up everything. Um, I know I started a time lapse, uh, and then Levi grabbed the phone to bring it to me. So that ended <laughs> prematurely. Yeah, are you enjoying your food? Yeah. That's great. It's very yummy. That's good. Anyway, let's go and check out the campsite stuff. Let's enjoy these wonderful views, all these other campsites, but there's not a lot of people here, and we are at the lovely spot 15, which is obviously not vacant. Um, we have all of these beautiful aspen trees. There's Elias playing on the rocks. Hi, baby. I know. You can clearly tell that that's where people put their tent. Um, we are not those people. There's the fire pit. Picnic table that comes with it. The table that we set up. And our tent right underneath this lovely pine tree. We put a tent there because it's been extremely rainy. Um, we were literally driving past the reservoir that you have to get past to get to this campsite. Um, and we're driving past it and it's covered in gray. Like even the reservoir looked gray. And then all of a sudden we just saw the biggest thing of lightning come down. And of course, I mean, blue skies all around now. But for a while, it was very gray, very dark, and very stormy. So we figured, well, that's a good spot. Make sure that, you know, everything that we need is safe. We can re remain a little bit more dry because, like, our entire campsite is wet except for underneath the tree as well. But I didn't want to, I didn't want to end up, um very cold at night and things like that and the tree it'll help kind of you know block some of the wind and things like that and hopefully help keep us a little bit more dry and a little bit more warm that was that was the logic there oh also since we're at an actual campsite we do have bathrooms so potty training will not be ruined and the bear box I love bear boxes they make me so happy so I should really mention um my mother did not abandon us She's finding firewood. That's why the car's not here. That's why she's not here. She didn't abandon us at a campsite with no cell service. Thankfully. That would have been so mean. I would have had to fire her as my mother. Just saying. Alrighty. Adventure to the bathroom is complete. Come on. Don't just stop in the road, Levi. Let's keep on walking. Adventure to the bathroom is complete. That's the bathroom right there. And... I had to explain how porta potties work to my children because they were very concerned about who didn't flush their poop. <laughs> so now we're walking back to the campsite. Hopefully, my mom is back because I really hope she didn't have to drive. Like, it is 
from the closest grocery store to us, it is 30 minutes. Elias, way too far, dude. This is a road, remember? Come back over here, please. Thank you for listening. Yeah, walk along the grass like brother is, okay? Uh-oh, no, not our campsite. We got this little walk up. Yeah. Once we see our tent and that pine tree that is under, then we'll know we've made it to our campsite. And this is campsite 13, so we're very close already. So we just got a lot of information sprung at us from the uh, camp host at a neighboring camp, because there's three campgrounds in here. We found the best spot. <laughs> just saying it now. We found the absolute greatest spot that you could get camping wise. But we found out what we're supposed to do with this guy. Not showing any of the information, obviously. <laughs> um, anyway, he gave us a lot of information. So now we know everything that we're supposed to do. We know where to find uh, cell service. <laughs> Which is great because we have to write up and go make reservations right now. Um, because, yeah, we didn't think about that. And I don't want to lose this spot. This is the best spot ever. I'm so happy I found it. I'm the one that was like, Mom, just pull in, get it. Now, that's a good spot. Hi. So we ended up spending a very good chunk of our first night camping, um, just really enjoying the campsite as a whole and enjoying the excitement that the boys had for their first time ever being exposed to something like this. Because up until now, we've never taken them camping before. I was always a little nervous taking such young children camping because um, my family, historically, uh, we always would camp by a really big lake um, <laughs> and things like that that make you worry <laughs> as a parent, um, especially because I have such adventurous boys. Like, I was very scared of them, like, opening up the tent at night and we couldn't hear it, even though, like, the tent always wakes me up. Uh, just like, you know, the standard parent paranoia, I suppose. But they had a lot of fun. They finally had an excuse to roast some marshmallows, even though, as you can see, um, they don't really actually roast their marshmallows. They just kind of um, hold them over the fire for like a second and then do say that it's roasted. I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, they're happy with it, so... They, of course, played tag for a little while, chasing each other around a while. Uh, my mother was preparing dinner. Um, she loves cooking over campfires, so cooking was her job the entire time we were gone. And for this night, I, of course, took video of it because how could I not? But um, for this one specifically, we had, you know, just to celebrate, I guess, in all of its glory we grabbed really delicious looking steaks and some gourmet butters and some corn on the cob and of course i had to show you guys the butter because i mean it's gourmet so while they were waiting for their food um right to the right of us on the campsite was this very tall grass and they were playing in it having so much fun just really enjoying all of this free space and we were so distanced from other campsites that even though there was nobody there even if there was people there they still had so much room to just run around and really go crazy um my boys do not like the rain a whole lot they don't like snow they don't like it when their clothes are getting wet or when they're really cold so to have such a nice first day where it's like beautiful out and the rain is gone as soon as we hit the campsite it was just a great opening to the week and yes you can hear my children in the voiceover they're playing games they're having fun right now doing their own thing as we wind down and get ready for some dinner as i'm recording this um but yeah it was just so much fun and I, of course i was trying to get elias to uh hide in the grass. He was not understanding what I was asking him. But well, I mean, you know, that's completely okay. Levi did it for me and it was absolutely hilarious seeing how easily it was for him to hide. And of course, they were told because of how easy it was to hide that um 
they had to make sure that an adult know, knew that they were playing in the grass and that they weren't taking things with them into the grass. I thought Elias was starting to cry at his videos. He was not. He was kind of like weirdly laughing. So I had to take a random pause. But yeah, it was such a beautiful campsite. And I know I said at the beginning, um, we had to find two. You'll see the devastation literally right after this, basically. Um, but yeah, you got to enjoy the good parts, right? Because I mean... Who doesn't love things like this? Elias, wherever are you? Oh no, I'll never find him again. <gasps> hey, look. I see a strange boy. Have you seen my son, Elias? Hey, Mr. Bluehead. Yeah, Mr. Bluehead. Have you seen Elias anywhere? I'm trying to find my son. <laughs> <laughs> What, baby? Finding. <laughs> find me. Why are you finding, Mom? I'm trying to find my son. What's his name? Elias. Elias? What's his name? That's Levi. What's your name? My name's Angie. <coughs> What's your name? I'm Grandma. Grandma Jessie. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm coming! Alrighty, so here's a look at the steak. Um, and my mom's steak, of course. We, we did different sauces. She did a red pepper one, and I did a gorgonzola. And I like my steak blue. Don't judge. Of course, we ended the night with a couple more marshmallows. Because when you're camping, you should have all the marshmallows in the world, I think. I, I don't know how camping works for other people, but that's how it works in my head was just eat all the marshmallows and then of course Elias realized that it was getting dark so he needed to go to bed and he was summoning me to the tent <laughs> so yeah we have to find a new campsite for the rest of the week and you know it's kind of our fault we didn't really know what spot we wanted to stay in we didn't know what all campsites were in the area because this is a completely new area to us so we were just winging it, but we were hoping, we were hoping that we would be able to still be fine because like it's been so rainy and just really bad weather. Yesterday they were saying reports like of like a while back, like a couple towns over that way from the way we came that um, they're expecting winds of like 45 miles per hour and it's just going to be really awful like if you're outside you should seek inside shelter which like is not this area okay we are not dangerously camping it's not this area we're paying attention to the weather um but yeah it's just it's one of those things where <laughs> We thought we'd have more wiggle room because of the weather, and we don't. So we get to pack up and go to another campsite and do this all over again. <laughs> Last night wasn't too bad. It wasn't too cold. Both boys were completely fine. I put them in three layers, and they had blankets. They woke up a few times um, just because they're not used to camping. So I'm still really tired from the few times that they woke up. Yeah, but nobody's cold. Like, their little faces are kind of cold, but I mean, we're camping. That, that, that happens. But the rest of them is warm. They're nice and bundled up. They have a lot of layers on. Right now, they are snuggling each other. I'm charging my phone, which is why I'm in the car. And then, once we get done with that, we are going... I wish I got covered. I'm so concerned. But yeah. Once we have once we have everybody like done and stuff, we're gonna go into town to pick up the couple of things that we need, like some food for the day and stuff like that, just because we're gonna end up further from the store at this new campsite. So yeah, we need we need it in the morning. And then we will uh figure out what we're going to do for the day because we did not anticipate needing to set up camp again <laughs> but that's okay because there was 
quite a few activities that I wanted to do this week. So, yeah. But I'm waking up, which means I'm very tired. <laughs> bye. Just say bye bye, campsite. Alrighty, so for our second site, we ended up going to dispersed camping that was very close to the Nori colony. And when we were pulling up, we found a bunch of baby foxes that I, of course, had to try and record. So I can't give a name to the campsite or anything, but I will provide in the text a rough estimate of how far away this was from both the original first campsite and Denver itself. So we are at our new campsite, and I'm going to show you guys the setup so far it's actually a pretty big one so i'm very excited Got sprayed for ticks now we can explore yeah. but look see we lucked out our campsite super close to the road so this campsite that's tucked away back here a lot of people might not want to try to be this close to us so we've got basically this whole spot to ourselves and also nobody really wants to do this kind of camping yeah leave are you going to come explore with us or are you going to dig holes right here by grandma we might we might want to find dinosaur bones oh he's digging for dinosaur bones that's just a chipmunk baby Ready to go exploring? I get no problem. Yep, let's find sticks together. So this is the second campsite that's right by ours. And it has a little pathway over there. And then this like leftover rock slide. That no stick, that's a rock. Yeah. Grandma does not want rock. And it has two separate fire pits. So we basically have three fire pits here. Yeah. Grandma does not want rock. Yeah. Here, that's just the little rock slide section. So we're going to come this way down this little path. Yeah. Yeah. This is where we came driving. No, we're this driving. isn't where we came driving. We got, go. got both my boys adventuring. Oh. <laughs> Take a picture of it. Got it. <laughs> hey guys, we're not going to go too far, okay? We're going to stay close to Grandma. We're going to have burgers tonight. You want to have some burgers soon? You have a surprise for me? Yeah, we found a spider in the fly. You found a spider? And I found yeah, that is a spider, huh? Yeah. A really cool. tiny spider on a really thin web. That's dope! Oh, I need a baggie. Need That's baggie. coming home. That is coming home. Don't tell your mother she'll murder me. <laughs> I'm a very easy person to make happy. My children know me so well. Yeah. Like, it's Thursday. We're here until Sunday to Monday. Oh, we might want So, we had to figure something out for all of the rain. Um, and then further that way, I'll show you guys later. Keep next time. Mom. Oh, thank you, baby. Okay. I'll show you guys the next time that I have to use the restroom. But, I love these woods. I absolutely love camping here. And, if you're looking for a really awesome spot to go camping... This is definitely the place to come. Like, I, it's beautiful, and there's so many great little hidden things about it, but I'll show you guys everything. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, so I started at the fire pit just to give some uh, context of where I'm at on the campsite, uh, just in case anybody actually is in Colorado and wants to go visit the same site that we did. Uh, just make it a little bit easier. 
Sorry, slight interruption. Uh, my son needed help with a quick getting a drink. Um, anyway, so walking through this, you know, there's like slight paths everywhere, things like that. But I really wanted to show what I found because there's a lot of families that watch this channel. And if you are a family that is in Colorado, this could be a really great spot, especially if you have smaller children that are still potty training. Because that's right, there was a toilet. They're enjoying some candy right now. And we had to tarp up the entire tent. Our chairs, stuff's under yeah. there. Wood's on the other side. Oh, thank you for sharing, my love. I appreciate that. Yes. Yeah. Hey, Elias. Do you know the mo most popular story to tell around a campfire? What? A scary story. Do you have a scary story? What a boy tried there was a bear. <gasps> a bear. That is scary. Bears are scary. Watch out for a time he ate one kiss <gasps> made of sand shoes. Whoa. <clears throat> and there was no mommy and daddy. Well, oh my goodness. No wonder that kid made of banjos got eaten. Just a daddy and a mom. Oh. Levi, do you know a scary story? Whoa. That's really scary. Uh, you wait here. Okay, I'll wait here. No rocks at my place. We're in the mountains. There's rocks everywhere. He's reading a book. That is scary. I know I'm filming them telling me the stories. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, I need that now. Need it. <laughs> hey, let's share. Look, guys, it's a book. <laughs> Whoa. Me a story. Whoa. That's a great start to a story. <laughs> well, this is fun, huh? Are we enjoying the rain? Third night here. Hey guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and maybe check out some of my other content. And if you really enjoyed the video, you can always hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that way hopefully you can see more of my content. Why am I in here? Because I'm recording a voiceover, my silly boy.